Hi dear students, we are back again with another content about analyzing the intention of words or expressions used in propaganda techniques. And this video lesson is based on the milk, analyzing the intention of words or expressions in propaganda techniques. Also, dear students, in front of you is the development team of this module. All the credit goes to them, and this is made for educational purposes only. Okay, let's start right away with what I need to know. Let me show you the objectives of this module. This module encourages you to analyze the intention of words or expressions used in propaganda techniques. This will also enable you to know other propaganda techniques which are not included in the previous module. Enjoy answering the different activities given in this module for you to achieve the target skills. At the end of this module, you're expected to number one, identify the propaganda techniques and intentions, two, extract keywords or expressions to identify their intended intentions and three analyze the intention of the propaganda technique used moving on we have what's in directions recall the topic or lesson in your previous module identify the propaganda technique described in each sentence and also to remind you, here are the propaganda techniques that were presented to you or discussed to you last time. We have name calling, glittering generalities, and transfer. Let us start by answering together. You are no longer going to write this in your paper, but let us answer number one orally. It is an act of relating something or someone we like or respect with a product. Now, try to recall your previous topic and say your answer out loud. Okay, we will reveal the answer now. The answer in number one is transfer. If you answered transfer, then you are correct. Two, this type of technique is also called labeling or stereotyping. Now, please say your answer out loud. Okay, we will reveal the answer now. The correct answer is name calling. Let's move on to the third question. Slogans or examples of this technique. Okay, and the answer? Number three, answer is glittering generalities. Moving on to number four, more often, cartoons and photographs are being used here. Okay, what is your answer? If your answer is name calling, then you are correct. Moving on, accepted virtue like rights or democracy is used in this type of propaganda. Giving you five seconds. Okay, and the answer is glittering generalities. I hope, class, you're able to get a perfect score in what's in. If you did, it means that you already mastered this competency. If not, then advise that you review the previous lesson and ask questions to your teacher or classmates so that you will be assisted into understanding this lesson. We are now in what's new part. 
Okay, what we are going to do is I am going to read to you the advertisement and you can also read with me. Okay, so we have Tease Me Milk Tea. Experience bizarre pleasure by having a sip of Tease Me Milk Tea. No artificial play flavorings. Legit, no sugar added. 100% stevia. Don't be left behind. Refresh yourself and stay healthy. Grab yours now. Call or text this number 0961-235-7356 or message us for your orders. We are open for delivery. Free delivery in nearby areas. We also accept payment through GCash. For dine-in or pickup, visit us at San Nicolas, Hagone, Bulacan, near San Nicolas Elementary School. And there's the uh, image of Tisme with TM logo for only 65 pesos for 500 ml. That is the advertisement. Okay, questions. You're going to just answer with me. You're no longer, you will no longer answer this in your paper. Just answer orally. One, which words convinced you to like milk tea? And number two, are you going to order milk tea from the seller now? Why? On the next slide, I'm gonna, I'm going to reveal to you my answer. Here are my possible answers. For number one, words like bizarre pleasure, no artificial flavorings, no sugar added, and free delivery. These words convinced me to like the product. So that's my personal answer. You could have a correct answer, but different from mine, okay? Two, are you going to order milk tea from the seller now? Why? My answer, yes, I might order the product because it is shown as a healthy drink. Aside from that, I can conveniently pay through GCash and have the product delivered to me. So that is, again, my answer. You could have another answer uh, aside from mine. Okay, now let's move on to the next. Okay, now this is our lesson, Other Propaganda Techniques and Their Intentions. We have here four propaganda techniques called Testimonial, Plain Folks, Bandwagon, and Card Stacking. Before we discuss the four propaganda techniques, let me just read to you the, this Part, why do we need to know the intention of the words or expressions used in advertisements? As time goes by, many propaganda techniques are introduced by the different people in this industry in order to persuade the public or a certain group of people to buy a product or to believe or follow an ideology or idea or to do a specific course of action. So it is important to know the intention because class look understanding the intention of the words or expressions used in the propaganda technique is very important because it will help you not to be easily swayed by advertisements meaning you will be a smart consumer you will be a smart citizen because you actually think first instead of being convinced right away or immediately you actually make good and sound decisions if you do this let us first have testimonial now what is testimonial this propaganda technique uses a famous individual or a celebrity to endorse a product or an ideology or a course of action. So that is the meaning of testimonial. Now, what is the intention of testimonial? It is to endorse a product 
or an ideology or a course of action. So in your module, these are the two examples. Number one, or letter A, sorry. Ding Dong Dantes shows how to wash hands properly. So we all know Ding Dong Dantes is a famous person, a celebrity in the Philippines. And what he's trying to, to show is the correct uh, way to wash the hands. So that way, uh, his testimonial will be witnessed by many, maybe uh, by his fans or by, by non-fans, but people who watch TV or something. And they will be persuaded um, to wash their hands properly. Next letter B, we have Senator, Senator Manny Pacquiao endorses, endorses sardines. Okay, so this is an example of testimonial because this product uses a person who is famous okay, to endorse something. Okay, I hope you already get this. But I'll be showing you a few uh, more examples rather under testimonial. Okay, here are the other examples. We have Maine Mendoza and Alden Richards for Bear Brand Adult Plus. Okay. Next, we have Uwili Revillame for Shopee. Shopee application or just Shopee. We have Blackpink for Pepsi. And we have Angel Luxine for Smart Padala. Okay. All of these are examples of testimonials. After testimonial, we'll be discussing plain folks. Now, what is plain folks? Instead of a celebrity or a high-profile personality, this technique, plain folks, uses common people or ordinary people using a product or doing an action. It creates appeal to the masses feeling they are of the same status. So that is the meaning of plain folk. So compared to the testimonial earlier, testimonial uses what? A celebrity or a famous personality. But this one, what is this? what does this technique use? This technique uses what? Common people or ordinary people. So what is the intention of plain folks? The intention is to create appeal to the masses. Who are the masses? The masses are the consumers, the people who might buy the idea or the product. Okay? And what does what do they want the masses to feel? So do they want to, the masses to feel that they are of the same status, meaning the commercial or the advertisement is relatable to them. Okay? Now, we have here two examples from your module and I'm also going to give my own example later on. A. An ordinary boy plays energetically to motivate others to buy the milk he is drinking. Okay, so imagine just an ordinary boy doing this okay, with energy and all. It, it means that the advertisement is using plain folks. B. A common teenager munches potato chips. Okay, I hope you get what I mean. Uh, under plain folks, it's not a celebrity, but a regular, common, ordinary person, okay, who is endorsing the product.
After discussing testimonial plain folks, we now have bandwagon. What is bandwagon? Another propaganda technique is bandwagon, which influences people to be one of those majority. Take note class, majority, who is already using the product or already following or, or believing a certain ideology. It touches the emotions of those who do not like to be alone or somewhat experience FOMO or fear of missing out. That's the meaning of bandwagon. Now, what is the intention of this technique? It is to influence people to be one of those majority to follow or believe a certain ideology. So the thing here, class, is in bandwagon, the commercial or the advertisement is telling us okay that many people that many people are already are already using this product so why don't you it's something like that so these are the two examples from the module we have letter a an appeal to wear face mask and face shield shows a table where 80% of people aged 17 to 60 wear face mask and face shield, 18% wear face mask and 2% and only 2% for those who are not wearing face mask or face shield. Meaning the people who made the the endorsement or the advertisement, they, they are called propagandists, okay? The propagandist is influencing people to be one of those majority who wear face mask and face shields. So they're showing here the data or the data. Okay? That ah okay, 80% of people are using face mask and I don't want to be included in the 18% or the 2%. I want to be included in the majority. Okay? Or you should be included in the majority. That's what they are trying to say. Letter B. A community celebrates a feast where everybody raises hands with a cell phone creating an idea that everyone in the barangay is already using one SIM or the, the SIM card. So this propaganda class influences people to use one SIM because the community is already using it. Okay, so I hope you get what I mean. Now, I'll be providing you with more examples on the next page. Okay, here are the examples. First, the drink everybody knows, pause, go refreshed, Coca-Cola. So look at this advertisement, the drink everybody knows. What does that mean? It is bandwagon. It is telling you that, hey, all the people know this product. You should know this too. You should drink it as well. Okay. Next, we have McDonald's hamburgers over 100 million sold okay this is a clear example of bandwagon meaning many people have tried many people have eaten hamburgers of mcdonald's so you should try this as well next uh this one as you see is an icon of an application in the phone which is tiktok okay um Remember, class, that propaganda does not only apply to commercials or advertisement. It also applies to idea or probably actions. So if you see trending topics or, for example, trending, let me give you one, trending dance challenge in TikTok, okay? So if you see TikTok challenges in your application or in Facebook, it kind of um, convinces you that ah okay many people are doing this challenge so i will do this as well so what are the challenges uh i don't i'm not really familiar with many i think i remember savage love okay uh, many people have tried that challenge and so much more okay so if you as a person see TikTok challenges in Facebook or in in uh, in the application, you have this thought or idea in your head that many people are doing it. I can do it as well. Okay. 
Next, we have the one, the last one, which is just do it, which is an example uh, of a uh, bandwagon, which is made by Nike. Everyone else did. Okay. I hope you understand uh, bandwagon. Now, let's move on to the last. Card stacking. What is card stacking? This misleads the target clients because only the favorable details of the product or ideology are being presented. And what is the intention of card stacking? This is to highlight only the favorable details of the product or idea. Now, this one is kind of um, dangerous in a way because as you see in the definition, this misleads okay if you are being misled or if someone if a person misleads you meaning this person only tells you half truth okay it doesn't tell you um, all the details that you need to know about something it only tells you uh, the good things about it so as a good citizen as a consumer class you should be able to think critically if a certain product or ideology is good for you. That's why we are discussing this. Okay? So, in your module, here is the example. A young men and women enjoys, okay, sorry, enjoy pleasure of smoking, of smoking cigarettes or vaping. So, the quotation is, with just a stick, evaporates all troubles away smoke stress out so here in this um, advertisement or in the line what is being emphasized here to what to remove the stress for the person or the people to be free from stress by using cigarettes or by vaping okay but of course this advertisement does not mention to us the what the illnesses that are that can be brought about by smoking okay so it only tells you the what the the good things what you can benefit from it but like i said earlier it is only telling you half truth now let's move on to letter b A schoolboy is being encouraged by another schoolboy to join a fraternity, promising a strong brotherhood and support system. This brotherhood, whenever you need us, we will always back you up. You have the supremacy in this community. Join us and the power is in you. Okay, so that is the, um, the propaganda of the other schoolboy so that the other one will join them too. So, the explanation here is schoolboys, especially of those who are new to a place, look for belongingness and fall to enticing oath of a, fratern of a fraternity. However, not all fraternities are true to their promises. Other new members become willing victims of hazing and harassment. So, as explained in this example, um, the schoolboy is only telling you the good things about their brotherhood okay that they are there for him if they need him they are there to back him up etc but uh, i think it is only telling half truth okay but because we know that hazing or joining fraternities sometimes what include hazing and harassment okay so, this is an example of card stacking. So, class, be careful about the ideas that surround you and the advertisements that surround you. You have to be um, mindful of them. Okay? Now, that's all. So, we have already discussed the four of them. And before I forget, these are the other examples of card stacking. So, I have here three so we have McDonald's, iced mocha, creamy, dreamy, icy, chocolatey. 
and of course who wouldn't love that picture so if you look at the picture and then the adjectives creamy dreamy icy and chocolatey of course you will love it it's mcdonald's however this ad or advertisement does not tell us how much sugar you will intake from this and how much caffeine you will get from it do you get what i mean it only tells you the good things and not the other side of it okay next we have hinebra san miguel ganado sa buhay this advertisement um i mean i cannot show you the video but this is an example if you have seen them in the commercials the construction workers or the workers in general are actually motivated in life meaning ganado okay motivated in life to work uh, for their families because of Hinebra San Miguel it gives them courage it give ne if gives them um, um, it tells them it makes them brave to to conquer life however this ad does not tell you that of course drinking gin too much is not good for for them okay it just tells you ah looks inspiring Hinebra San Miguel makes you ganado sa buhay okay but it doesn't tell you all that you need to know next this one is pizza hut give your loved ones a bigger treat with 50% more uh, free 50% cheese more cheese and more meat this one is kind of misleading what is misleading again misleading is not telling you the entire truth it tells you so this advertisement tells you that ha ah, okay this is 50% more than the regular so I should buy this this is worth it this is worth my money because this is 50% more why is it misleading because the person buying it the consumer okay the consumer does not know whether the 50% is really true how can they measure it it's not measurable okay so this is an example of card stacking okay class that's all for the discussion part here we're going to practice we're going to test your knowledge but you are just going to answer with me orally okay no need to answer this on your paper directions read carefully the instructions for each group of activities answer with me study fully the descriptions in each item and choose the terms from the pool of words so we have the words here in the box with green outline a plain folks b propaganda c card stacking d testimonial e bandwagon so number one a kind of propaganda technique where a famous person or a celebrity endorses a certain view or he or she testifies to the idea of the product okay in five seconds please tell your answer If you answered letter D, testimonial, you are correct. Remember, testimonial uses famous person to endorse an idea or a product. Next, number two, an ordinary person shows using a product or expressing an opinion or view to a certain issue. Five seconds, what is your answer? The answer in number two is letter A, plain folks. Moving on to number three, an appeal, expressions, or actions to persuade others to use the product or follow the same views or actions. Five seconds, what is your answer? Okay, the answer is letter B. Moving on to number four, it is a technique and advertisement where only facts and details present to the product are being mentioned while some important details are missing five seconds what is your answer the 
The answer is letter C, card stacking. Number five, a propaganda technique that tells everyone that tells everyone is using a certain product or believe a product following or believing an idea or doing the same action. What is your answer? Five seconds. Okay, the answer is letter E, bandwagon. So if you got all of these correctly, uh, good job. Moving on to letter B. Okay, here you're going to identify the propaganda technique using the use in the following sentences. We have PF, plain folks, CS, card stacking, T testimonial, and BW for a bandwagon. You're going to answer with me. Do not answer in your paper. Six, Deputy Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones, while wearing face mask and face shield in a news update, encourages the parents and teachers to do the same. Five seconds, what is your answer? The answer is letter T, testimonial. Seven, pictures of different students who are planting happily from their homes are posted in a brochure to persuade others to plant as well. I'm giving you five seconds, what is your answer? The answer is BW. Number eight, a teenager drinks the beverage that promotes that it has vitamins like vitamin C and D, but the sugar content and preservatives are not mentioned. Five seconds. The answer is CS. Nine, a video showing a woman using a liquid detergent. She's dancing and singing while washing the clothes. Five seconds. The answer is PF. Ten, an FB post shows many students prefer to study in Ramona Estreliana High School. Why don't you try? Five seconds. The answer is BW. Okay, I hope you got all of these correctly. And if not, kindly review again the lesson or you can ask me questions in our GC. Okay, read again the sentences from test B and fill in the blanks with the needed information. So here you are not going to answer this. We are going to answer together. Okay, so let's move on. Number six, to encourage the teachers and parents. That's the intention. What are the keywords? Deped Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones, while wearing face mask and face shield in a news update, encourages the parents and teachers to do the same. Okay, the answer there is while wearing face mask and face shield. So those are the keywords because uh, Magdolis or Briones wants to encourage the teachers and parents to wear the face mask. So th that's the key. those are the keywords. Okay, number seven. I'm now showing you the answer. Pictures of different st students who are planting happily from their homes are posted in a brochure to persuade others to plant as well. So look here. The keyword is pictures of students planting happily. What is the intention? The intention. The answer is to influence students to plant at home. That's the purpose. Next we have eight. A teenager drinks the beverage that promotes that it has vitamins like vitamin C and D but the sugar content and preservatives are not mentioned. So what are the keywords? Vitamin C and D with vitamin C and D. 
What is the intention? To mislead teenagers to buy the drinking beverage. Okay, with number nine, that's the sentence. So what is the intention? To use or buy the liquid detergent. And the keywords, dancing and singing while washing the clothes. And number 10, what is, that's the sentence. An FB post shows many students prefer to study in Ramona Estreliana High School. Why don't you try? Intentions to encourage students to study in Ramona Estreliana High School. And what are the keywords or expressions? Many students prefer. Okay, class, that is all for the guided practice. So you are now on your own, meaning you're going to start answering already um, in your one whole sheet of paper. So please chat your questions in our GC or comment below and I will answer them for you. Do not hesitate to do that. Let's move on to the next. Okay, class, so here's what you're going to do. Kindly answer the following. Please use intermediate paper. Label it English 8, Quarter 3, Module 3. You're going to answer what's more. Independent Activity 1, 2, and 3. You're also going to answer Independent Assessment 1, 2, and 3. You're going to answer Assessment. And also, you're going to answer Additional Activities. That's all. Thank you for watching and have a good day.